been here for a long time, I wonder. Oh, it's not a Uh, what are you doing? Nothing much. We're preparing for field work. I haven't performed any in quite some time. At the moment, I'm trying to hunt down my tools. I must have buried them awfully well. But well, field work? At your age? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you ought to let us handle it. Are <laughs> you treating me like I'm some invalid? I am the very picture of health. <laughs> See what I mean? Just swallow your pride and let us take care of whatever it is. You stay and rest. <sighs> well, I suppose I should pick you up on the offer while you're still here. Very well. I'll let you assist me. Good. Now, lay it on us. <laughs> In truth, something has been troubling me as of late. Take a look at this field report from my previous survey of the life springs in our local region. Are you sure this is accurate? It was at one point, but life springs are mutable. They rarely remain in one location for long. Indeed, such events move periodically. Nothing unusual about that in the least. However, it is not their positions which trouble me. Rather, what the survey team has reported. Hmm. Perhaps this fact-finding expedition of ours will clear things up. I would have you visit this site first. There, measure the Marco frequency using this meter of mine. All right, we'll do. Conclusions. Let's try another location, shall we? We may yet get encouraging results. Go on ahead. I will catch up to you when I am ready. Me. Better 
better you than me. Sick of it. Hang back. Here we go. Gotcha. Going in. Gotcha. Well. You're dead. That's good. I say. Here goes. Gotcha. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This ends here. Ah. It's on now. Ah. Going in. Ah. It's safe to come down now. Oh, splendid job, Nanaki. of awakening. Wait, is it just me, or does that sound like a weapon? Ah, yes. If that were the case, then maybe... Right, yes. We have not a moment to lose. We must continue our work. Doesn't look good. Ten? No. Four hundred? The meter's going crazy. What's a GZ anyway? How do you even read this? GZ stands for Geisel, his first name. Bugenhagen was the first person to discover that the life stream emits energy we can measure. <laughs> But that's not worth mention. More importantly, our work remains unfinished. We'd best get on with it while we still have the light. This is the site to which I would have you attend next. Good luck to you all, and safe travels. Gotcha. Uh, 
going in. Come on, and this and that. here. Gotcha. That's it. <laughs> Try this. <laughs> Whispers? Oh, we have been graced by curious guests. Hey, I was wondering, do you believe in fate? That something out there controls our future? Oh, ho, ho. fate is a salve we use to soothe the sting of disappointment. We are the masters of our lives, Nanaki. Would you not agree, Cloud? Yeah, sure. My, my, over seven thousand. Hmm, this is an unprecedented level of activity. Doubtless proof that the flow of the life stream has shifted in some manner or another. The question is, was this shift natural, or was it the product of an external force? A question for another time. One location remains. see any monsters this time. Hmm. It appears that this site has gone fallow. Marco meter, if you would. Oh, my word. We'll handle these guys. Get back. Oh. Let's do this. Huh? Well, now, okay. Too bad. Deal with that. I'll fight you! Get the ball for you! Yeah. Just watch! Let's see what you got! You're mine! Uh, uh, with me to that! Too old for this. <sighs> My point exactly. I learned far more than I anticipated today. Though I harbored doubts, 
I now concede that you were right. Something is happening to the planet. Many questions remain, but I can share with you some answers. Life springs are founts of Marco, whose locations are dictated by the life stream's ever-changing flow. Yet in all my years, never have I seen a once thriving spring wither in so short a time. While still just a theory, given all I have witnessed, I believe the planet is changing on an unprecedented scale. Ah, the weapons. I first learned of them from amusing fables and Cetran tomes. Quite frankly, I did not believe they existed. I thought them merely allegorical. Thus did I dismiss the tales of your encounters with these incredible creatures. No, that's not it. In truth, I was terrified. Weapons are born into existence when the planet is in crisis. When the survival of all creation is at stake. I hope you will forgive me my discourteousness. You came to me in good faith, and I turned you away. But we must face our fears. Only then can we hope to overcome them. And so I face mine. The weapons have come, and they portend a grim future for us all. A malevolent energy descended upon that life spring. Never in all my years of planetological research have I ever seen such a disturbing phenomenon. You, however, appeared unfazed by what you witnessed. Yeah. <laughs> you needn't explain, Nanaki. Indeed, it may be best that you do not. The experiences of others may skew our own perception of the truth. For the time being, quiet observation is key to unraveling this mystery. In the grand scheme of both the planet and the life stream, the lives of us mortals and the sublunary parts we play are undeniably inconsequential. For our world is the accumulation of trillions of souls, an assemblage of all life that ever was and will ever be. But that is far too reductive a way to view the cycle which sustains us. We are, after all, a part of the planet. And the planet is a part of us, too. We mustn't forget that even the smallest of ripples can gather the strength to become the greatest of waves. It is thus incumbent upon us to do all we can in the time we are allotted. Do not die a ripple. I endeavor to do just that. I will continue to work to uncover the planet's secrets. And if I find anything, I will let you know. All right, just try not to overdo it. For me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now who could this be? Why, it's from a watchman in town. How odd. Oh, what did you say? Is something wrong? I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of sightings of key spirits within the Vale. But they were sealed within the cave. Indeed they were. I can attest to that. So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Nanaki. Who knows what they can or cannot do? Though I know this is sudden, will you lend us your raid? <laughs> Go and speak to the watchman at the gate. I will return to the Vale on my own. <laughs> 